fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. I'm Daphne and I'm here today to unbox my mystery box from Diamond Art Club. I'm sure many of you have seen other people unboxing theirs. Um, I have been avoiding social media so that I wouldn't know what was in the box. So I unloaded this out of the box mostly because the box that it came in was absolutely destroyed by the carrier. So uh, I just unloaded everything out of the box. Now, I still don't know what these kits are um, because I didn't look as I was unboxing them and I turned them over so that I wouldn't see what they were. I did see the one on top because the box was open when it was delivered. So the little extra piece, whatever this is, um, somehow got moved around or I don't know, caused the box to break open or something. So anyway, so I'm going to kind of set some of these aside because these four on top are the ones that I don't know what they are. And I'm just going to move them out of the way so we can look at the other ones. One, I was able to tell what it was because of the box. So you'll see in just a second what I mean. And so I got one Harry Potter. I don't know what it is. So I'll look at that one in just a minute. And then this was the one that was on the top. And this is Virus Detected. It is a um, dragling by Randall Spangler, but I already bought this one. So this is probably going to be one that I either end up giving away in a giveaway uh, or doing something with, I don't know, but I don't need two of them. So this one is probably going to go away. So that's one of them. Um, the Harry Potter that I got, let's see, is the boy who lived. So there you can see the artwork. It is a square. And while I like Harry Potter, I'm not a huge fan. So this may be one that goes away as well. Now I'm assuming in the mystery box, it said that you would get four never before seen, no, three never before seen kits, one mystery kit, which is supposed to be a new mystery kit that's not been seen before either. So four never be seen, never four, oh goodness, my voice, uh, four never before seen kits. Is that right? Because there were six kits, two fan favorites, which I'm assuming is this one and the Spangler. And then that leaves four kits, which were three never before seen um, kits, ones that have never been released before. And then a mystery that's never been released before. Now for me, I've never bought any of their other mystery kits. So even if it was a duplicate, it wouldn't be for me because I've not gotten one, but we'll see. But Harry Potter, again, this is another one for me that, not that I don't like Harry Potter, but I just am not interested. It's a lot of dark colors and it's just something I probably won't do. So, so there's those two kits. And again, I'm assuming those are the fan favorites. And then you were supposed to get a mystery gift, which I'm assuming that's what this is. So let's open this and see. Cause I know there was some differences in the mystery kits. Now I ordered mine in the first go round. So I'm assuming mine is probably the same as everyone else's, but we'll see. What is this? Is this one of their candles? That's what it feels like. Okay. Yes. A happiness candle, lemon leaf and woods scented candle. It doesn't smell bad. Um, however, I don't do scented candles. I am very prone to migraines, especially when scented candles are around. Like I can't even go into stores like Bed Bath and Beyond and Bath and Body Works because the scents just kill me. So this will go into my to be gifted to someone pile because I have a, a cabinet in my in my um, living room that has a regifting section, 
where when I get things that I won't use, but I could re-gift to someone else, I stick those there. So I have this, I have some bottles of wine because I'm not a wine drinker. Um, some various other things I got, gloves and just some other things that I wouldn't use. So I try not to throw them away. So I put them in my re-gifting package. Okay. So now let's get to the exciting part because these should all be the never before seen ones. So one of these is going to be a mystery, but it's not this one. Oh, this one is by Ennis Guerrero and it's called Magic Portals. And it is a square. It says it's 55.8, so 56 by 79 basically. Um, I actually have something already. I have the Artemisa by her. It's all pretty much the same kind of color scheme. So this may be another one that I don't hang on to because I, uh, dark and gothic is not really my thing. I mean, I'll, I'll do one, but since I already have one by her, I don't know if I'll hang on to that one either. Let me, let me line these up over here. The Harry Potter. And that one is square. The Spangler is round. So let's see what this next one is. The next three are very large ones, the largest size. So this is, oh, it's called Sunken Ship by Sergio. It is 93 by 70. Oof, that's kind of big. And it's a square. And it's got like, is that a fish or an octopus? looks like a shark or some kind of dolphin. There's an octopus down there, like sunken treasure. There's like a little chest and a starfish and interesting. Okay, so there's one. I guess I can just leave it there. We're just looking at the photos. And then, hoof, what is this one? Oh, this is the mystery one. So I will probably keep this one because I've not done a mystery. <gasps> And it's a fantasy dragon one. You guys, if you know what it is, don't tell me. I'm always, <laughs> the fantasy, the mystery kits fascinate me. Um, I was just talking to my husband about it because I've done several mystery kits, not this size. This is 70 by 105. Holy shnikes, this thing is huge. Um, By Ann Stokes. So I don't know her art, but... Is she the one that did the, the treasure helpers one with the Christmas tree? If she is, I have that one. Uh, so hopefully this isn't the same thing. Um, but anyway, you know, you see these mystery kits and when you're looking at them in real life, you can't tell what they are. But as soon as you take a picture of them with a camera, it's clear what the picture is going to be of. So I always find that funny, but I've never bought one of their mystery kits before. So this is one I definitely will be hanging on to. And then the last one is, what is this? House on the Cliff by Image World. So this is another square. It's 98 by 70. Gosh, these are all huge. Okay, so... It's just like literally a house on a cliff. There's like a little, couple of little waterfalls and some wooden bridges, like a little rope bridge. Just a really nice landscape. Now, this one is an maybe for me. I like doing the bigger pictures, um, but it's a square, which means it always is going to take longer. It's big, and I have so many big paintings, so... So there is my mystery box. So I've got the sunken ship, which I probably will keep. The mystery dragon kit, which I definitely will keep. The house on the cliff, which maybe, that's a maybe for me. I don't know if I'll keep that one or not. And then I've got the virus detected, which I definitely will pass on because I already have that one. We've got the Ennis Guerrero one, um, which, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I'll have to look at the artwork and see if I'd rather keep her or the Artemisa one. I'm, I'm leaning toward the Artemisa one, 
but I need to go back and look at the artwork. So this one is a maybe for me. And then of course the Harry Potter, which again, even though I like Harry Potter for me is, eh, I won't likely keep that one because I'm just not that interested in Harry Potter. So two definite keeps, two definite giveaways, and two maybes. So out of six kits, that's not bad, right? That's two, two, and two. So that's pretty good. And I got a little scented happiness candle that I can re-gift to someone else because I just, unless the scent is very, very faint, and I actually got one of their candles when they first started releasing them as a... I think it was a VIP gift or something. I don't even remember now, but they're very strong scents and I just can't do them. Like right now is even starting to give me a headache. So that definitely will be going into my regifting center to be given to someone else at a later date. So, so yeah, I hope this wasn't boring guys. I know everybody else has kind of done all of the unboxings already. Unfortunately for me, I live far away from where they ship out of and it always takes a week or so for me to get them. So I don't ever get to be the first one to unbox. Um, I'm not lucky enough to get sneak peeks. And even though I bought this in the very first go round, it took seven days, seven, eight days to get to me before I could even look at it. So yeah. But anyway, there it is. There's all the stuff that was in the mystery box. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video, guys. Before you leave, don't forget to do all the things. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching.